You can wipe everything off your credit report in the next 14 days, whether it's a student loan, charge off, eviction, bankruptcy, child support. It don't matter what it is, hard acquired, it can come off in the next 14 days. You know me, I'm going to show you how to do it step by step by step. So with that being said, you already know what time it is. Let's get into it. What's up, family? I'm back with another one. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the family. So in today's class, guess what we're going over? I'm going to show you the 14-day hack on how to wipe everything off your credit report. I'm also going to go over the laws that you need. And one more thing, I'm going to show you how to use the hard inquiry hack where you don't have to call in and talk to the credit bureaus off. I'm going to show you everything you need to know. So with that being said, go grab a pen, go get some paper, and you know, and we're going to get something to drink today because, hey, this is going to be a good one. So, step number one, the first thing you need to do is grab a credit report, right? Grab a credit report. You can't use this right here. Most people have credit karma, right? But however, it only checks TransUnion and Equifax. We need something that checks experience, TransUnion and Equifax. And guess what? We also need the account name and account number. Credit Karma doesn't have the account number, right? So we can't use it and they don't have experience as well. So what we need to do is make sure we have experience, TransUnion and Equifax. Don't use this right, right now because this ain't gonna be useful right now. This ain't gonna be able to help you out, but we're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a grab a credit report and I'm basically gonna break everything down that you need to do step by step by step. So go grab a credit report. The link is in the description. If you need one, go ahead and grab it and I'm gonna show you everything you need to do first. So here's what I'm talking about. So here's what you wanna do. You wanna grab your account name, right? You wanna get out of the account name, which is right here in the account number. This is what I was talking about because Credit Karma don't show you the account number. So you need the account number and account name. This is very important. So for what we gotta do to get these things removed off our credit report. So grab the account name and grab the account number, put them to the side, and I'm gonna show you every single account, whether it's open, closed, um, missed payments. If it's open with missed payments, we wanna remove everything, right? Because these are the accounts that are holding, the back, holding us back. So whether your accounts are open or closed, you can remove them off your credit report. And what I mean by open is if you have an open credit card that have a 30 day, 60 day, 90 day. If you have multiple late payments, you want to remove it from your credit report. Same thing as if you have a car loan that's open and you have multiple late payments. Same thing if you have a house loan and have multiple late payments, you want to remove it from your credit report. They're not going to come get the house. They're not going to come get the car. They're not going to come get the credit card, right? You want to remove the account because it's hurting your credit score. Remember, 35% of your score is payment history. And once you remove those late payments, the credit score is going to take off. So make sure you go ahead and remove those open accounts that have multiple, multiple late payments on your credit report. I don't care if it's 30, 60, 90, you want to remove it from your credit report. And if, of course, it's closed, we already going to remove it. So go ahead. What I said, what I'm gonna say it again, if it's open, you can remove it from your credit report. Remember, the credit bureaus in the business making money, they have no authority, they have laws they have to follow, and if they don't follow those laws, and the things is coming off your credit report. But we gotta put in the work because the work works. So let's get it. So before I show you that backdoor method, before I show you that step-by-step -step play, I'm gonna go over three laws real quick. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So make sure you go grab your Fair Credit Reporting Act book real quick. We're gonna read over some um, laws real quick, and I'm gonna show you how you can knock everything off your credit report, whether that's a student loan collection, charge off, bankruptcy, eviction, open credit card, hard inquiries, no matter what it is, it's coming off like clockwork, and I'm gonna show you. So let's get into it. So make sure you grab it. So let's go into, you know, chapter one, and I'm gonna show you the first, the first page, right? So the first, not the first page, but the first law I'm talking about is called the, it's right here, the, the, the law of privacy, right? So 15 USC, 1681, right? We're gonna go to 602 and number four, right? So there's a need to ensure, hey, there's a need to ensure that consumer reporting agencies exercise their great responsibility with fairness and partiality and a respect for the consumer's right to privacy. I'm gonna say that again. And a respect for the consumer's right to privacy. So remember, you have the right to privacy. Also, perm permissible purpose of consumer report is right on um, consumer report. So 15 USC, 1681, section 604A, right? Number two. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the first section. Subsection, um, subject to subsection C, any consumer reported agency may furnish a consumer report under the following circumstances and no other, right? In accordance with written instruction of the consumer to whom it relates, right? So without written instructions, and they can't furnish a credit report, right? So the next law we'll read, and the third law, which is very important as well, 
Um, remember, when we looked at our credit report, we saw that in all that inaccurate information, we saw the account number, account name, date, act, date last active, all that if that all that stuff is inaccurate, right? And according to the law, everything has to be 100% accurate, and I'm gonna prove it, right? So, 15 USC 1681, let's see, section 623, responsibilities of furniture of information to consumer reporting agency, right? Page 86, if you have this. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to it real quick. So, page 86, let's get it reporting information with uh, with actual knowledge of errors a person shall not furnish any information related to consumer to any consumer reporting agency if the person knows or has reasonable cause to believe that the information is inaccurate right so we already pinpointed that information is inaccurate we already noticed that information is inaccurate and we can use those three laws and i'm gonna have another law as well but let's go ahead and show you this backdoor method so you can go ahead and wipe everything off your credit report so let's get it Here's what we want to do. We want to go to CFPB, right? And once we click on CFPB, we're going to go ahead and click on um, consumer submit a complaint, right? So click on submit, submit a complaint and it should look like this. And what we want to do is go ahead and make it a little bit bigger, right? So we're going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger and we're going to look for start a new complaint. Once we click on start a new complaint, this is going to pop up. So what you want to do is go ahead. If you don't have a username and password, you want to go ahead and create an account and I'm going to show you what to do next. All right. So once you create an account, it's going to be like a start a new complaint or start a new complaint at the top, like a little blue button. You're going to click on that. And then after you click on that, you're going to pop up to the screen. So once you pop up to the screen, you're going to go ahead and click on credit reporting Um, this part right here. And you're going to go ahead and click on credit reporting. And then you're going to go ahead and click on next. Right. So once you click on next, um, the next screen should populate, and then you're gonna go ahead and click on improper use of your credit report, improper use, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and click on reporting company use your report improperly, right? So, a, obtain or use for purposes that aren't allowed by the law, right? So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. So after we click on that, we already tried to fix this problem. We already know we already tried that. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on next. And then I'm gonna show you what to put. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and give you everything you need to put in the description box and then um, go ahead and do that. So the first thing you wanna put is, I'm gonna grab it for you real quick. Remember, we're gonna put those laws and everything. I'm gonna read everything real quick for you so we can go, go over what we're talking about. So in accordance with the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the list of accounts below has violated my federally protected consumer rights to privacy and confidentiality under 15 USC 1681, right? So remember, account name and account number, right? So I have an example. This is example, right? This is not what you're gonna put. This is just an example for, um, you know, so I can show you what I'm talking about. So put the account name and then you're gonna put the account number right here. You're gonna list all the negative accounts. Every last negative account, you're gonna list it on here. I don't care if you have 10, I don't care if you have 15, I don't care if you have 20, I don't care if you have 50, right? I don't even care if you have one, right? We'll list every last one of them on here, right? Because with time is very valuable and we don't have time to waste with the credit report, um, the credit bureau. So list all the negative accounts. We're not gonna do hard inquiries right now. Remember, I'm gonna show you another, I'm gonna show you something else with the hard inquiries, but we're gonna list all the account names and account numbers right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and list the laws, right? 15 USC, 1681, section 60, um, 602, eight states that have the right to privacy. Also, 15 USC, 1681, 1681, section 604A, section two. Also state a consumer reporting agency cannot furnish an account without my written instructions. Also, 15 USC, 1681, section, uh, I mean, 15 USC, 1681CA5, Section states, no consumer report AC may make any consumer report contain, uh, containing any of the following items of inf information and other adverse item of information, other than records of convictions or crimes, which antedates the report by more than seven years, right? Also, 15 USC, we just read these, uh, 15 USC 1681 S2A1, a person, just in case, like if you don't have the actual book, I also put it so you can go ahead and look at the law as well. A person may not furnish any information related to consumer to any consumer reporting agency if the person knows or has reasonable cause to believe that the information is inaccurate, right? So here go the laws you're gonna have right here. Hey, you got them right where we want them. And then if you want to, you can um, publish it. If you don't want to, it's up to you. But your fair resolution is delete these accounts right delete these accounts right 
immediately ASAP, whatever you want to put, right? ASAP, immediately. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm also have this in the description so you can go ahead and um, get a copy of it. So I'll make it much easier, but go ahead and put the account name, account number, make it different, right? Of course, it's gonna be different. Everybody's different. Um, you can attach documents if you want to show them that the inaccurate information, if you want to, you don't have to. Um, you can make a copy, but we're gonna go ahead and click on next. Now, once we click on next, here's what's gonna populate, right? Um, you're gonna put the, you're gonna put Equifax, right? Equifax, you should populate. Equifax Information Services, LLC. Um, you wanna put your last four, date of birth, name as it appears on your credit report. Click all three of these, because sometimes they act like they don't have your, uh, in your information. So go ahead and click on all three of them. All right, so put your last four, date of birth, and name as it appears on your credit report. And if you already have a credit report, if, um, if you have a problem with that, if it's like a little bit different, spell, capitalized, middle initial, junior, senior, whatever, right? List all that. Company name, you wanna go ahead and click on Experian, right? We just did turn Equifax. So we're gonna go to Experian, Information Solution. Yes, I tried to fix this problem. Remember, social, date of birth, name as it appears on your credit report, right? You're gonna list all that, right? And then also, you're gonna go ahead and click on I have tried this again. And then we wanna go to TransUnion, right? So let me see what pops up. TransUnion. And then you wanna go ahead and click on TransUnion. This one right here. Yes, I tried to fix this problem. Last one, date of birth, name as appears on your credit report, right? So after you click that submit button, here's what you wanna do next. Make sure you get the complaint number. It should be in your email, but you can also go back in the next 14 to 15 days and also check the results and start seeing those accounts come off like clockwork. But you're probably wondering how you're gonna remove the hard inquiries. I want you to do is watch that video right here. Once you watch this video right here, you're gonna see all your hard inquiries come off in the next seven days like clockwork, all right? Watch that video right there.